to describe the usual causes responsible for it i would like to draw your attention to a very classical neuro radiological finding encountered in subarachnoid hemorrhage and you can see in this non contrast ct head the presence of blood in the basal cisterns which would give rise to this appearance that is referred to as star of death the condition that we studying subarachnoid hemorrhage can be having as much as a 35% mortality prior to hospitalization i mean lot of these patients can die even suddenly as well so let's look at the causes behind development of this catastrophic condition having up to 35% mortality prior to hospitalization the number one cause would be trauma after that you will answer as rupture of baby aneurysm and in some mcqs we might write the word secular aneurysm as well in the later part of the discussion i'll talk about giant uh, baby aneurysm slash secular aneurysm i'll talk about what are the criteria or what are the determinants that would decide the chances of rupture and obviously one of the important determinants would be size but we'll look at some statistical data also with respect to a particular size what would be the chances of rupture the third important cause to be remembered would be a arteriovenous malformation then you need to remember this could be due to dural arteriovenous fistula and the fifth cause would be due to a uh, extension of a intra cerebral hemorrhage let's say a chap is having hypertensive crisis and then he had a intra cerebral bleed which is a separate video so i can just say that intra cerebral hemorrhage i've said it but at point number 5 i'm just reiterating the statement that i've said earlier if a person is having a intra cerebral bleed there is a possibility that the bleed can extend and can develop other person can develop a subarachnoid hemorrhage as well Point number six looks very surprising when we read it initially. He has written idiopathic subarachnoid hemorrhage, and uh, the problem is not with the word idiopathic, but with respect to the source of bleeding. You see, suppose I say a person of subarachnoid hemorrhage is having blood in the sylvian fissure. What is the source of bleeding? If the blood is located in the sylvian fissure, then your answer would be blood in the sylvian fissure. It could be related to middle cerebral artery. or uh, if the, if the blood is in the interhemispheric fissure it could be related to the anterior blood vessels like anterior communicating where it meets with the anterior cerebral is the common location so it's always going to be an artery but for the idiopathic variety which has a very benign course he says either the source of bleeding is veins or he says the source of bleeding can be capillary so one i would like you to remember that routinely it's going to be obviously an arterial answer that would be given but for idiopathic variety your answer would be veins slash capillaries and uh, this idiopathic variety of subarachnoid hemorrhage is relatively localized and because it is localized that is why it tends to have a relatively a benign course uh, if he wants to get into more details he can ask you i mean what is the usual location where a idiopathic variety of subarachnoid hemorrhage would be located and your answer would be given as uh, the common location would be at the mesencephalic cisterns so these are the six causes which are responsible for it where the number one cause would be trauma and subsequently 